On today's episode of the Bootstrap Biz Advice Show, I'm going to teach you how to make a GIF using the website Canva. In the example in this video, I'll be using photos from this Creative Market free download, the Christmas Instagram pack. It was included in an email marketing campaign and it worked wonderfully. If you would like access to my VIP vault, which is my epic resource library filled with video tutorials, cheat sheets, checklists, and even stock photos for free, visit LaShondaBrown.com or click on the link in the description. Without further ado, let's hop in. the great things about creative market is you can actually generate 10% commission on everything a person buys for up to a year if you become a creative market partner. So I used a GIF in an email to drive traffic to a free download on creative market to help people to create accounts so that for up to a year, I would get credit for all of their purchases. So if you are interested in generating a commission, you can go to creativemarket.com slash partners and you can become a part of their partner program. When you do, you'll receive a little code that goes at the end of any um, link on Creative Market and you can use that to drive traffic to the product of your choice. Now on this particular page, their partner page, they give you kind of a breakdown of what you can expect as a partner. The commission, how referrals last for a year, and just different support for creators. So at the very bottom, you'll see apply today. Now this particular free download was a Christmas Instagram pack. And one thing I love about Creative Market is all the people who participate in there, you can see my little um, referral link at the top, um, everyone who participates on Creative Market creates graphics to go along with the item. So this particular item has five different graphics that I could use to create a little GIF to put in my email. So you'll see um, the first image where it's got the pennant in the top left-hand corner. And you, you can go to this page and you can save these graphics. Remember, you want to drive traffic to not just this page, but this page with your tag on the end. When you do that, you will get credit even if you're sending traffic initially to a free download. So once you click on it, it'll show you all of those images. And so you could pin them if you wanted to, um, but I'm going to go ahead and right click and save all of them to my desktop to use for my GIF. So I'll click through and another thing that's awesome is they all, all are the same size. So you don't have to worry about resizing them. And so they're showing you how they can be used on Instagram um, and what they would look like in the Instagram feed. So this particular creator did a great job setting me up for success to send them traffic. So now that we have all of those graphics saved, we're gonna go ahead and open up Canva and we're going to choose a design layout. And as you hover over the designs, you'll see the file size for the designs. So be thinking about the type of email that you're going to write and decide what size of GIF you want to include. For this example, we're going to use the Facebook post template. And so when you open it up initially, it's going to give you a blank workspace to work with. And this is where we're going to drop in all of those images that we saved from Creative Market. Now by pushing the button on the right hand side of the screen, you'll be able to create the workspaces that you'll need for your GIF. And I'm going to choose to make six by using the five images provided and then creating my own little call to action at the end. So the first thing I need to do is to upload the five images that I saved directly from Creative Market. And you'll see the little green bars fill up under each image as they are uploaded to Canva. And then on the left hand side, you'll see kind of an upload status of all of your images. And that's the little ducky uh, rising in the water. So sometimes you can cause Canva to glitch if you do not wait for all of your images to upload. So it's just important that you pay attention to that. And when it's done, it'll completely fill up and it'll go back to just uploads with the up arrow on it. Um, so once you see that, you're good to go to drop in your images. And so I'm going to try to center um, my images so that as it clicks through the GIF, it looks consistent. So if you drag it, Canva will tell you where the center of the graphic will be. 
Now you can also choose not to resize any of your images. So you have that um, as an option, but you'll just click on the left hand side and you'll drag them in in the order in which you would like for them to appear. So I'm gonna go back and just leave them as is when Canva drops them in because I know they're all the same size. So I'll head on over to the second image I want, click on the left and it'll drop it into that workspace. And then I'll go through the subsequent pages. So click on what I want, drop in the image from the left. And so this is what you'll need to do to get those first five graphics together. Now, the last thing I want to do is I want to create that final call to action at the end. So I happen to have the Creative Market logo I'm saved on my computer where I can drop it in. Now, if you need to get the Creative Market logo because you don't personally have it, you can easily just go to Google. And in the search bar, I would just type in a Creative Market logo. And then what you're looking for under the images tab is a version of the creative market logo that has a transparent background. So if you choose to have a GIF um, with a colored background that it'll still work. So if you see those little boxes in the background, that means it's transparent. Um, typically those files are also PNGs. So that's what you want to save. You see the difference, there's a white background there, the other one has those little boxes. So when you do that, um, you'll see it's transparent. You can go ahead and add that in. And so I'm going to use that logo and then type my call to action just by dragging over a text box from the left-hand side. I'll make it a little bit bigger and then I will drag it exactly where I want it to go. So I typed free download on Creative Market. So people know I'm not selling them a uh, product they will have to pay for. This is something they can get absolutely free. So then you can click on the top, which will allow you um, the opportunity to rename your file so that it is um, something that you recognize. And I personally have all of my things uh, download to the desktop so I can find it easily. So once you've done that, you've dropped in all of your images and your text, now it's time to save it. So you click and what you want to select is animated GIF slash movie. And right now it's in the um, experimental phase. So they do let you know that. Um, and then all you have to do is click preview animation. Now, what I'm going to do is just see my options. You can download it as a movie or as a GIF. So if you want to actually use this, to create graphics for Instagram stories. That's another great place for this content to live. So you don't have to include it in an email. Um, you could post it on Facebook as a movie. Um, you could post it as a GIF on Facebook. So you decide, uh, but you've got six different animation styles to choose from. Rise, bounce, slide, block, 3D and fade. And so on the left-hand side of the screen, it's giving you a preview of what the file will look like when you export it. And so I'm just clicking through all of these just to show you um, the various options. And once you decide what design for animation you wanna keep, then you can go ahead and export it. So again, your options are, you can obviously download it as a GIF or you can download it as a movie. So decide how you're going to use this file and then um, you'll click the appropriate download button. And again, you wanna make sure that you have the animation style selected when you do this. So because slide is selected, that is the animation that will appear when this file is exported. So I hope that makes sense. And like I said, this is in the experimental phase on Canva. I do believe this is a feature that they will keep. And one thing that I love that happens with the, uh, the GIF layout is they do animate the text and logos separately. So if you wanna do something fancy, um, you can do that as well, just like I did with the free download on Creative Market. So what it will do once you select the option that you want is it will do a little scan over the whole thing to let you know um, how long it's going to take for them to create your file. Now, one thing I do wanna put out Depending on how many GIFs you have or how many images you have in your GIF, these files can be pretty large. The same thing goes for um, your movie downloads. So just something to keep in mind, the more you add to your image, the bigger the file size, and for certain email marketing tools, they may not allow you to use it. 
So I just used um, this little website, Easy GIF, to resize my GIF after it was created because the file was quite large. After the GIF was created, I was able to hop over to ConvertKit and upload my GIF just like any other image, and it played perfectly within the email. So I hope this video was useful to you. If you would like to learn more from me, you can hop over to LaShondaBrown.com and sign up for my VIP vault. You'll get the password immediately with unlimited access so that you can see my resource library. If you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to do that because I teach people how to grow their biz without breaking the bank. Until next time, ta-ta for now.